uh, it was kind of nice because Preach got there around the same time, so it was like we were experiencing it together. That's cool. We don't have anyone who can cast healing, Eris. We'll need to be careful. I'm sorry for making you do this. Don't apologize. You didn't make me do anything. I'm doing this because I want to. Same as you. Okay. But you must understand that we can never be with each other because I don't love you. What do you want me to be doing exactly? Are we just fighting shit randomly? Or? Oh, Hopper, we need more of the precious essence. Actually, give decent experience around here. So much so that we're gonna level up without the others. Again? Stone crush. It's risky to get too close. Yeah. You should have seen that coming. Great on this one. We need to find a way around. Oh, right, we'll have enough people. Well, next time Will's in the party, at least he'll learn his spell. So that's nice. We don't have anybody with healing errors, but we do have the stone, so that's cool, I guess. Whoa! Oh, Dadarantulas are right here. Okay, so I need some errors from these guys, too. Massive. Ow. Heavy. New base errors, nice. Well, what is the point of this? So I need some of that data Rantula stuff. Let's try and get some of those. Just hopper stuff. Come on, man. Give me that sweet dad tarantula. Ravioli, ravioli. Give me the formuli. Encounter rate in this place is also hella high. Come on, dude. Stop being annoying. Damn it, more golf stones. I need that data tarantula. Let's take a break. How is this teaching me to swim exactly? You're actually the first person I've ever fought side by side with. I always fought alone too. 
before I came to the Legacy. I didn't realize how comforting it is to have someone beside you. Of course, I'm not saying just anyone would do. Uh, um, I mean, I don't know what I mean. I mean, that's cute. In the same way. It's reassuring to have you by my side. What? As friends, though. Want to go another round? Uh, yeah. Coolidge. I said you don't need to apologize. Thanks. Oh, you're welcome. Come on, Daddy Ranchula. I'm ready. I'm ready for me money. Come on, give me a precious innards. I have my moments. How lame. I only need a couple. Come on, baby. Don't hold out on me. Fuck ton of golf stones now, but I really, really need some dead tarantula stones. I mean, come on, man. We're fucking rare. Again? Like his throws do a lot of damage on games. They may not be the coolest looking thing, but they do hit hard. We won. So there's that. All I want is dad tarantula stuff. I've been playing Monster Hunter Rise and it's a lot of fun. The game seems easier though, which is fine, but I like longer battles. Yeah, I noticed that. I mean, I noticed you playing, not the, the easier part, because I haven't played Monster Hunter yet. But maybe that's what Miguel meant. Why he got spoiled by Monster Hunter Rise is that it's not as difficult or whatever. for this one. Glad that's over. So you just gotta come out here and fight like ten fights. Whew. That's interesting. Tired? A little. How about you? Yeah, maybe, although riding the dog does make getting around faster. I don't think it's enough to spoil someone unless you really just like exploring. Yeah, a little, but it feels good. The night breeze feels nice. Yeah. Mind if I lay next to you? Can I ask you something? Yeah, sure, what is it? What kind of a person is Stella? I'm pro-typist today. Oh, alright. Oh, don't like exploring, I mean. I'm pro-typist, okay. 
We can stay like this just a little longer. I love you, Tear. I was worried about you. Really worried, okay? Senel, move. She must have Don't been like slightly older I'm than going. him. She's kind of got that like big He's sister kind, vibe. Caring. But once she makes up her mind about something, she can be pretty stubborn. They never brought this guy back to do voice acting in these games. Well, the Tales games. Because you really can just start a mission and zip straight to the monster in They're less than a minute. Shirley. I'll stay here and hold them off. Take Shirley and run. Yeah, I don't know exactly what, uh... If he hates exploring, or... I don't know, it's been a while since I've spoken to them. I was having a bad day, so I kind of, like, took it personal whenever they were, like, hanging out and they didn't invite me to hang out with them. Can we stay like this just a little longer? She's gallant and brave, too. Although sometimes she seems so frail. Like, that's one thing that's different. At least you'll, like, you're the kind of person where, like, you know, hey, I'm in Discord, or hey, let's go in Discord. Like, you'll invite me I first met her five to hang ago. out. But, like, those two, it's Stella, like, Shirley and I were they don't say anything. And all of a sudden, I'll just say, oh, they've been hanging out with each other, and they don't bother to tell me. So I can, like, join in. Army attacked the Even if they don't mean it personally, ago. for some, like, that was just having Stella a bad day, and I took it personally. Off, so me and Shirley could escape. I got Shirley to a safe place and went back for Stella, but by that time... So, all I said was, like, you guys never, it's like, you guys are always in here and you never tell so me. this time, it's my turn to save her. I was just I bummed about it. Her. And Shirley, too. I'll help you. Chloe. We'll do whatever it takes to get them back. Oh, man, it's that crazy yeah. love riff. Who's there? Naughty, naughty, you two. <coughs> Out here by yourselves. Demon. Ah, wait, wait. We went to all the trouble of spying on you, and all you did was chit chat. Excuse me. So disappointed. You're all alone together in the middle of the night. Don't you think you should heat things up a bit? Well, well, I getting people involved. Sweaty. If I could, I would have everyone in the same Discord, but some of my friends are antisocial, so they don't like meeting new people, and will shy away from joining if there are people they don't know. I'm like that, so yes. What, what do you expect? We've been training. I am very much like that. But like those two, like they, it's like you know, this wasn't like the first time it fucking happened, and like I said, I was having a sad, just a sad day. Sometimes I just have sad days. What is it, Chloe? Oh, nothing. Well, if y'all are training, I'm gonna join in the fun. Sentinel, let's you and me see who can take out the most monsters. I love doing squats. And it's like you know, I'm sorry for being bitter. But I just have to get over it. Like that's pretty much it. Feels like somebody glued my eyes shut. I would say they're antisocial too. Maybe not as not so much Caleb. Are you awake now? Completely. So shall we begin the council on strategy? Let's start with our current situation. Vaklav is using the Legacy's bridge as his base of operations. That's here. Originally, this area was a lake. But with the restoration of the bridge, it's all land now. For convenience, we'll call this new area the Bridge Plain. Bridge Plain, huh? Well, if there's land all around it, then attacking should be a piece of cake, right? This is why I don't like dealing with simpletons. Hey! Almost all the areas that used to make up the lake shore are now steep cliffs. Attacking from the stern would seem to be impossible. What happened to the Orisoran village? You can enter from the waterway side, but you can't get out onto the bridge plane. Incidentally, there's no one there anymore. Why? 
We evacuated the Orosaurin to a safe location. Oh it man, I just buy mustard from them. What's about to become a battlefield. You sure are a lot nicer to them furballs than you are to humans. Let's not worry about me at the moment. Now, as for a path onto the bridge plane. Do you remember this formation between the crags and the lake? That's the place with the tall cliffs on both sides. Right. At present, this is the only route onto the bridge plane. Hmm, seems like a crazy choke point for them. Great, got it. Let's go. You really are stupid. Wait until I'm finished. How are you so pale? This you is like an island paradise. Stupid. But it's true. Vaklov has established a frontline base near the entrance to the bridge plane. I mostly live underground with otters, so that's why I'm so pale. To capture this base in a nighttime raid. Right now, the enemy's defenses should be relatively weak. Our real objective is to draw out the main force from the bridge and force them into a decisive battle. To that end, we must try to make quite a show of destroying the frontline base. We need to make Vaklov absolutely furious. Well, let's do it, man. All right, let's do it. All this talking. Our group will be participating in the battle as an independent detachment. Our unit's name is the 30th Platoon. Got it. Why is that important? All right, everyone. Please proceed quickly to the front line base. You go from 12 o'clock to midnight. Ready, we'll head out. Am I still poisoned in junk? Nope. Nice and healed. Ramstrike? Ramstein? So it's like beast, but less cool. Need those dandarantulas, man. What about the dandarantulas? So much stuff on the screen. The game can't handle it. Good timing. Allow me to introduce the leader of our automata force. This is XJ9. Sweet remix. Is that Skrillex? It's that dude. It's Walter. Got nothing on me, though. I feel like I've seen him somewhere before. He just doesn't have his turban on. Is that Walter? He no longer has any need to disguise himself as an Oraranus. Walter, where are you going? We need to finish maintenance on the automata. Anyway. I apologize for his attitude. Please understand. It stems purely from his sense of duty. Under normal circumstances, Walter would have been the leader of the Marinus personal guard. Because of that, he is more committed to the success of this operation than anyone. I hate Walter, to break it to you, the but guard. the Marinus is in love with me, so she'd never love him or you. Vaclaw's frontline's base is located located toward one o'clock from here. The time has come to save Shirley. We cannot lose this fight. Um, I think we're ahead of experience from everyone because we went out this way. We don't want to encounter any monsters. It's better if we don't go this way. Man, but I need that Dandarantula stuff. So I can learn Thunder Arrow. How lame. What a clock from here, though. Please be careful. I don't know what would happen if Shirley... Whatever. I don't know what I would say to Shirley. Zero, one... Zero one zero 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 one zero. Okay, I'm not gonna read all that shit. If it was just one line, sure. But a whole line of 
Binary code, no thanks. Everyone's having fun running around. I wonder what's gonna happen. One o'clock from here, huh? How do you feel? Bitch. Get started. Well, well. She didn't lose consciousness. Uh. Take it to just below a level that would kill her and proceed with the charging. Yes, sir. Can we hurry up and just please kill these we clowns? Can't let her die yet. She looks like she's going to prove useful in more ways than one. Kill Vaclop, <laughs> kill Cashel, kill Stingle. Just a little further. I mean, I know that we don't kill them now. We only kill fucking Vaklov because he's like the f actual boss of the first half of the game. And the other ones, we need to go around some mountains to get to the front lines. It's toward one o'clock. Okay. That's uh, hella far away. It's towards one o'clock. Um, what was I saying? Like, we fight each of them during people's subplots, like... This one's a walk we fight Cashel probably for Moses, or... Because Cashel killed his bandit friends. So we probably kill him for that reason. Melanie, I don't know who she related to.